Hi friends, welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. I've had a request from a Carl and Carol Reed for a tutorial video on this picture that I posted online on uh, our acrylic, acrylic pouring group uh, as inspiration for greens. So it's this picture. So today for our pouring medium, we're going to be using our mixture of Bare 8300, Floetrol and Minwax Polycrylic, uh, ratio 2 to 1, uh, 2 to 1 to 1. And uh, our pillow is going to be Sherwin-Williams, the colour to go. This is the orange label one. I hadn't tried it before. And to be honest, I think I prefer it to the green label. Our colours today, the favourites, my little favourite. This little piggy, I can't get enough of them. They are quite amazing pigments. Uh, if you want to get your hands on some piggies, please go to fluid-art.co and I'm pretty sure they deliver pretty much everywhere in the world. So you can get these, they are amazing. Uh, this one's going to be laid down first. This is an order. Uh, this is ball gown, which is a beautiful interference gold. Next, we're going to have PBO Studio Acrylics. This is iridescent green yellow. And last but not least, the Liquitex Green. I can't pronounce the name phallocyanine, maybe it could be that, I'm not too sure. Uh, but it's a soft body acrylic and it's transparent, as you can see by the little square that is empty. So those are our colours. Those, that's our pillow paint. So let's get the camera pointing down. I'll stop talking and we'll get on with pouring. Okay, so I've put my white pillow down. I poured down there probably, I'm guessing, around about 90 to 100 millilitres, which would be, if my math serves me rightly, around two and a half to three ounces of paint. But please don't quote me, okay? So. Uh, oh, I also forgot to mention the cell activator. Uh, the cell activator is the Australian cell activator, uh, which is Australian Floetrol uh, and uh, Amsterdam paint. This one is a beautiful dark blue colour. Hang on, I shall tell you its name. Of course, it's Prussian blue. How could I forget? Prussian blue cell activator, okay. So we're going to lay down our pigment first, which is my favourite, this little piggy ball gown, or one of my favourites. I don't play favourites with my pigs, but I'm sure you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's the ball gown. Next in order, we're putting down the PBO iridescent uh, green yellow. My paints seem a little thick already. I have this problem, first world problem, <laughs> of living in a rather dry house. My house is timber frame and I live a mile above sea level on the side of a mountain, which is gorgeous. Uh, but it's very dry in here. And after I mix up my paints and my pigments, even in these little two ounce ramekins, they, if you don't use them quickly, they start to thicken up on me. So I hope it's not too late. So let's put down the um, uh, Thalocyanine Green, the Liquitex Soft Body Acrylic. I don't think I said that right. Now we're gonna put down just a nice little small amount of our cell activator. This is an old cell activator. I mixed it up a good few days ago. I put a couple of drops of water in just to loosen it a little bit. And hopefully I don't put too much down. So, please excuse the back of my head while I blow this. <laughs> I'm just going to give it another little blow. Now 
Oh, that's looking very pretty indeed. Just going to make sure the camera is focused on it. Hopefully that is. I'm going to, while we're just waiting for the pillow paint to come back underneath uh, our other paints, I'm going to try to hold it up as steady as I can and hope that the camera focuses nicely on it. But yeah, looking fantastic. The Australian cell activator recipe working an absolute treat. And if you would like to know what that exactly is, please watch my other videos where I go over cell activators and I reveal some of the little tricks and some little secrets that I've worked out on how to get these beautiful blooms. Okay, so now she's all moving as one very nicely. And let's give her a gentle spin. Okay, that's grown nicely, so let's give it the opposite direction spin. Oh, that's looking great. Okay, let's give it another spin. We want to just make sure, yeah, we still have we still have some movement to the actual paint here. So we want to spin it until it really doesn't move very much at all when we uh, pick it up and we tilt it. Uh, if it still moves a lot, there's still enough paint there that needs to be spun off. And if we leave it like this, as pretty as it is, we run the risk of it cracking and not drying correctly because the paint's too thick. Okay, so let's give it another spin. Great. I love the little bit of negative space that we have on, on, the, on the piece here. It's quite nice. I do like it sometimes when the bloom doesn't cover the whole canvas. And then, of course, there's sometimes when we wished the bloom would cover the whole canvas. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, just give it one more gentle spin, guys. As you can see, quite a lot of, uh, well, not quite a lot, but there's some paint on my actual spinner here. Uh, so I could have used just a little bit less on the pillow. It still would have stretched nicely, but we wouldn't have wasted this. I know this is a negotiable amount of paint, but um, uh, I'm, I'm painting on a budget, as I know a lot of us are. So uh, it's great not to waste paint, or more to the point, it's great to be as economical as we can with the paint because the more economical we are, the more blooms we can do. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet now, and I'm gonna spin it for the last time. Excellent. Okay, it looks kind of like the original picture that I did. Again, I'm going to try and pick this up for you guys and hope that the camera uh, will autofocus on it for you. But there's the close-up. So, as always, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you want to leave a comment, they're active. It would be great. Let me know what you think. And we'll finish on a nice, clean, uh, uh, a nice close-up. And as always, guys, happy pouring. So here's the close-up, friends. I'm trying a new technique. I'm going to gently just rotate this. So you can see all of the wonderful, happy little cells. I especially love this little group. So I hope the rotating isn't making you dizzy or sick. That's our close-up, guys. I hope Carl and Carol Reed 
uh, sorry, Carol, Karen, Carl and Karen Reed, who requested this tutorial. I hope this uh, is good for you guys. I hope you like what you see. Uh, please, as always, remember to like and subscribe and happy pouring.